It'll take a, a few minutes, probably a little over three minutes if I have been doing this as I've been doing it, uh, to talk about this abstract or this concept called self-actualization. Uh, is it a concept, uh, an abstract? I'm not sure what to call it. Uh, as Robin Williams said, as I've quoted him before, reality, what a concept. Uh, but self-actualization is a state that was discovered by uh, Abraham Maslow and described in great detail. And one of the ways he said that people can attain self-actualization is by surviving a severe trauma. Uh, we were in Hawaii one time, and a woman came to an evening preview that I had the privilege to lead. And she was the only survivor in an automobile accident that on Thanksgiving Day claimed the lives of seven people, I believe. And her friends were among those seven. And uh, she was out. She had survived a severe trauma. Life didn't make any sense to her. But a couple of movies, if you watch them, that make uh, that, that allow you to see the state of self-actualization. One is uh, with Jeff Bridges, a movie called Fearless, and he survives a plane crash. Boy, I'm, I may sneeze here. Yep. <coughs> here we go. Thank you. Excuse me. I wonder how many gazintites I got off there. Bless you. That, that's pretty cool to think about. But uh, at any rate. Uh, he survives a plane crash, and he is completely different on the other side of the plane crash. How he thinks, how he feels, how he lives life, what he can do, what he can't do. And it's just a great depiction for if you want to see how a person is when they're self-actualized. Another great movie, I think, uh, that depicts it as well is a movie called Bullworth. I don't know how much media attention I got, it got, but I, or I get either. Hmm. But uh, it's with uh, Warren Beatty, and uh, he is a politician, and he knows that there's a hit on him. And he knows that any minute can be his last minute, so he lives his life as if he's only got today to live. Right? And he becomes probably the most profound, complete oxymoron on the planet. He's a senator running for re-election, he knows there's a hit on him, and he becomes an honest politician. I can't tell you how many times I've watched the movie. I may become like, uh, oh, never mind, the billionaire, Howard Hughes, and just have Mormons change the reel so I can watch it again and again when I go dingy, but uh, it still makes me laugh out loud it, every time I see it. I know it's coming. I know what he's about to say, but he's so out there. He's so honest. He's so complete that it, it, it's worth the watch. So if you want to get a sense of the uh, these, the state, the abstract, the concept of self-actualization. I think these two movies do a great justice. I'm going to end here because we're going to sneeze again. <laughs>